You are listening to the Pompet Podcast, the edutainment podcast about lifestyle, wine, and spirits, hosted by Yolanda Shoshana. Let's get this party started. Hey, hey, hey. Thanks so much for tuning in to the Pompette Podcast. This is Yolanda Shoshana, but you can't call me Shoshi. Happy holidays. I hope you are having a wonderful holiday season. I know I am. I've been relaxing, relating, and releasing, and going to holiday parties and spending time with friends and family. I hope you are as well. I know this can be a difficult time of year for some people, but as I said in my newsletter, my Pompette newsletter, um, do your best to focus on something that makes you happy during the holidays, whether it's the smell of a Christmas tree or the smell of gingerbread cookies or that really expensive coffee at Starbucks. You know, they add that peppermint and add two dollars to it. But whatever that is that makes you jolly, find that and hold on to that. Speaking of friends and family, I want to talk to you about some books. I got some really great books this year that I want to tell you about that are great to help you with entertaining, cocktailing, and just making food at home. Six books that I really loved. Um, yeah. So you'll notice that there is a French theme here. People love to send me books about France and uh, French food, and I actually love it. First up. I have a bite-sized history of France, Gastronic Tales of Revolution, War, and Enlightenment. It's by Stephen Henault and Jenny Mitchell. Great little book. People were raving about this, and then I ended up with a copy. They sent me a copy, and I love it. If you are a fan of food history, French food, or history in general, this is a great book for you. It's also a great book for a friend who's into that. It's the kind of book that you read when you curl up with a glass of French wine. It's written in short stories, so it's not like a long history lesson. So you can pick and choose which chapter you want to go to. It covers things like wine, of course, croissants, baguette, um, all the good things that the French love to eat. And we love to eat as well. So I definitely recommend that. Then I have a book that I was so surprised when it arrived because I wasn't expecting it. Sometimes people send me things and I don't know that they're coming. But this book is called French Grill, 125 Refined and Rustic Recipes. It's by Susan Herman Loomis. Such a delightful book. It is so wonderful and beautiful. The pictures are beautiful. It has some traditional French recipes and other recipes that are kind of like spun into a French style. Now, if you are like me, you know I live in New York City and I don't have a backyard. And you're like, girl, I don't have a backyard. I don't have a grill. Wait, get an indoor grill. I got an indoor grill because I was determined to try these recipes. Now, yes, I had grilled pans, but I actually wanted to go get um, an indoor grill. And Hamilton Beach has some really great selections. I got one where I can see the food that I'm grilling and I can smell it and I can change the temperatures and all that good stuff. So indoor grill, get yourself one if you don't have one. And the book is divided into appetizers. Then you have your first courses and divided into your meats, of course, from your poultry, fish, rabbit if you're into that type of thing lamb beef and veal side dishes of course dessert because they're french and of course it has recipe for sauces now you know the french love their sauces so some really great sauce recipes and herbs and spices just beautiful great gift but also wonderful if you are into french food yourself and it's going to be great for those summer months when you're sipping on your ro rosé because y'all, I know y'all like to rosé, but uh, get your rosé from Provence and get your fr French grill on and you are good to go. The next book I got at the Book Expo, um, you know, I go to that Book Expo whenever I can and I love it. I end up coming home with like hundreds of books. I got less this year, though, because sometimes I overdo it. But this year I had to get the chocolate book. It's by Nathan Hodge and it's called The Art and Craft of Chocolate. 
you know I love me some chocolate. And this is all about entertaining. And it has the story of chocolate, how chocolate is made, but it also just has some really great recipes. There is a wonderful chocolate Stout cookie recipe. Hello, if you're into that. And then a flourless cardamom chocolate cake, which is great when you're entertaining and you have that friend that um, gluten free and all that stuff. This is just really a delightful book. And it is for entertaining at home specifically. So I highly recommend it. Next up is a cocktail book. One that I really, really love. It's the Mixology of Astrology. Cosmic Cocktail Recipes for Every Sign. And it's by Eliza Kelly. She does horoscopes for Allure Magazine. I actually got the book before she did. And I know that because I posted it on Instagram. And she sent me a little note. She hadn't seen her book. And I told her that she was going to love it. And she was thrilled when she got it. She did a lot of research for this book. There are about four cocktails for each sign so this is the kind of book that you do when you have like a group of friends coming over and you pick a couple of recipes for your Gemini's your Scorpio's and your Libra's whoever's there and you just make cocktails in that theme fun 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 it's a great night if you're doing like some mystical stuff you know I really believe um, and talk about mystical things when it comes to wine and spirits because there is something there it's very magical and you know where spirits come from Uh, the monks wanted to talk to the divine which is how you get spirits right (laughs) why they called it spirits then we have a book that rocked my world the fondue bible what yes the second edition of the fondue bible by alana simon 200 recipes let me tell you something this book I fell madly in love with. I was like, oh my God. As you know, I'm covering cheese now and I'm studying cheese. So it was great for that. It talks about the type of cheese you need to get when you're making fondue and how to make fondue at home. You know, most of the time people go out for fondue, but you can actually do it at home. It's easy with a nice little set or your crock pot. So those of you who think about cheese fondue this book also goes into other types of fondue of course you know about dessert fondue who doesn't the best kind right but there's oil fondue and broth fondue just so many fondue recipes 200 (laughs) i highly recommend this one if you are entertaining at home listen fondue is a great little meal you can make for your family but it's also very romantic and a good aphrodisiac for you and your boo you make a little fondue and chill with netflix what uh great for valentine's day whenever i'm out at this one cafe on the upper east side it's called dtut downtown uptown um the thing about that cafe is people would go there for these couples would go for the s'mores of course because you get your little fire pit and all this little thing to to do your s'mores and they'd go for the fondue Fondue is very sexy. You kind of snuggle up together, have a good conversation, sip your wine, and you dip your stuff in your cheese or whatever. Just great. So don't forget, don't sleep on fondueing at home. Last but not least, I have one more book to tell you about. I think it was my favorite, if I had to choose a favorite. I loved all of these books, though. So it's hard to call one my favorite. But this one, oh, you know me and my France. It's Let's Eat France. And it's by Francois Regis Gondry. This book is absolutely stunning. It's got 1,250 specialty foods, 375 recipes, 350 topics, 260 personalities, maps. The French love their maps, just so you know. Maps and charts and tips, etc. If you are a foodie, if you are a Francophile, you like history, you like France, this book is for you. It's a big book. Uh, like I said, it was sent to me, but I believe it runs for about $50. And since it's the holidays, you might get to get it for, you know, 45 ish Beautiful book. Great to put on, you know, a big coffee table. And for people that come in, they're like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Or if you don't want anyone touching it, because it is a beautiful book. You know, just somewhere where people can see it on your shelf. Just stunning. Amazing book. I can't recommend it enough. And it would be a good gift to yourself or someone else. So, 
I hope this helps you build your cocktail food entertaining library. These are just some suggestions. I also recommend, though, if you don't know if you want to buy these books, because it's harder and harder to see books now since stores keep closing. Our poor bookstores keep closing. And I know you can go on Amazon sometimes and get a sample, but you still want to look at it. I highly recommend slipping into a library and checking to see if they have it. Maybe tr- checking the book out and trying it on. <laughs> trying it out to see if it works for you before you do make a purchase. And if your library doesn't have a book, a lot of times you can make a request with the librarian. There's so many books, they're not going to order everything. But don't forget to talk to your librarian. And especially if you think it'd be a great addition to your library. I know some people are in smaller places. In New York, I can find pretty much anything I want, right? But if you're in you know, a small town in Idaho or a small town in Texas, maybe uh, your librarian wouldn't order the fondue Bible, though you should question that. (laughs) Or she's not going to have the mixology of astrology. But go ahead and ask for these things and they'll order them for you. And I know libraries are doing ebooks as well now. So maybe your library can even provide the ebook form for you. So don't forget to sign up for my newsletter, Pumpet. A new edition did drop today's so go and you can get the link in my instagram sign up get it sent to your inbox and don't forget to stop by a witch in the world.com and until next time peace love and cheers